had to stand up and speak out unapologetically and fearlessly. Mr. Perry on the spot starts rewriting the entire script and he's feeding me the lines to say and the director is kind of standing on the side like you better do. Why are you trying to tell me to do something that I'm not contractually obligated to do? Is being famous overrated? Oh no. No. Pretty great. Pretty damn good. Tyler Perry and Monique seem to be embroiled in yet another quarrel, and the blacklisted actress feels she wasn't given enough credit for airing the unpleasant details of her conflict with the media mogul. Since she is once again in the spotlight, it appears that Monique is growing more self-assured. She feels like destroying Tyler's empire of falsehoods by revealing his links to the industry elite and the crimes he had committed for them as a gatekeeper. And she thinks that this time, she will be heard. Oftentimes, when it comes to a black woman speaking up and speaking out, it goes unheard. I hope you all have your popcorn ready because today's tale, which reveals the most heinous crimes committed by our favorite Hollywood magnate Tyler Perry, is extremely juicy. Going from rags to riches, Tyler has consolidated his professional standing throughout the years. Despite his talent and dedication, it seems that after he attained the pedestal, he changed into some sort of monster. Additionally, as Monique now claims, there hasn't been a month in the business that Tyler hasn't committed a new crime in order to maintain his position. Y'all know I'm right, but why won't anybody say anything? He was right and let's make a movie about it. Monique wants her professional rival to go through the same ordeal that she underwent after being severely mistreated by Tyler and being denied employment for nearly 13 years. So she has started a campaign to reveal Perry's covert work for Hollywood elite. Let me take you back to the beginning so you can understand how the conflict between them developed and why Monique's past with Tyler is so important to today's narrative. So like Monique, why is she canceled? Mm -hmm. I had to revisit that because it was like, it didn't make sense to me, baby. I'm like, so what did she do? She said something you didn't like? Monique's refusal to promote the movie Precious, which was not required by her contract, is the root of the conflict between her and Perry. The management team behind Precious, which included Tyler Perry, reportedly asked the actress to promote the movie after it received positive reviews, but she made it plain that she wouldn't do it for free. As Monique recalls her conversation with Tyler, what I was not going to do was to make Hollywood the priority. I said, I too, Perry, I'm not in the business of working for free. As you will discover later, Tyler's story with Monique is not the only instance of his filthy character, so it seems as though it was enough to make the media mogul go crazy. Insiders believe that Mr. Perry is threatening to use his influence if his staff don't obey his rules and don't adjust to the conditions of work he imposes. Other people working for him frequently complain about Tyler's mistreatment. Today I've been given three new scripts and my character has been changed twice. I'm just confused. It appears like Tyler Perry turned into a complete nightmare after becoming a legend in the entertainment business. And Monique is now asserting that this man has a god complex because he manifests exaggerated feelings of personal privilege and treats everyone appallingly. Monique even saw him treat his employees like servants. Alipari calls me into his room. He has a staff of people there. He does like this. Monique hasn't personally collaborated with Tyler Perry, but this single episode gave her all the information she needed about him. She evidently came to understand what a dreadful atmosphere prevailed inside the boundaries of these so-called studios. And some of these scandals, such as charges of fraud, SEA, and workplace hostility toward men as a result of unwanted and unsolicited sexual advances and remarks, were leaked to the media. However, even without Monique's damning comments, Tyler Perry doesn't appear to be much of an authority in the eyes of many people. They have long wondered why this evil man is so well-known and well-liked. As one user wrote, I usually do not watch Tyler Perry's movies because he always has the same types of characters, and the fact that they have very weak plots that are very predictable. And another user added, we all know what and who Tyler Perry is. We also know that he gives his cast number zero insurance, does not allow a union for his actors. He is considered a very horrible person when dealing with male on male s from his staff. These transgressions are only the tip of a larger iceberg of his questionable behavior though. So be ready to learn more delicious information about the most influential person in the entertainment world and how he has essentially been treading on black folks to create his own empire and a tidy fortune. Have you ever thought about titling something without Tyler Perry? Hmm, I have, but won't do it. He seems to really like the opulent lifestyle he is currently leading. And Monique claims that without his crimes against good people, he would not have succeeded. Mr. Tyler Perry is currently a millionaire, 
in case you didn't know. Furthermore, there is widespread rumor that he underpaid and mistreated his staff, including Monique, in order to amass his money. This individual is well known for his long-standing association with Oprah Winfrey, another contentious personality, in addition to his own questionable actions. Being friends now is incredible because I can call her up at this point in her career and life and we really lean on each other for a lot. And as Monique now asserts, these two have been laying out their strategies for how to dominate the entertainment industry for years. And it's understandable why Tyler Perry keeps being involved in a lot of sticky situations and scandals. Who wants such a person to be a part of a network, for example? Particularly after hearing all these tales that reveal Mr. Perry's dubious decisions and almost embarrassing treatment of the people who work at his studio. Literally run the entire episode for him and he hates it. Does that mean I have to learn a whole new script? Tyler's work ethics are obviously far from perfect. But as Monique claims, the entertainment tycoon treats his employees like trash. Tyler is currently the most well-known figure in the black community in Hollywood. Therefore, he is aware that every employee can be easily replaced. As Monique noted, Tyler's haughtiness had reached a new pitch. In essence, he thinks that since he had given them the chance to work with him, they ought to bow down and kiss his feet. But then you get treated like you should just be thankful we're welcoming you to the party. Right. Tyler had previously displayed his demonic nature by firing four screenwriters on the spot after they demanded fair compensation and union contracts and when his employees refused to labor for pennies on the dollar. Writing professionals have a right to a fair wage and all the benefits that come with union contracts, and the Writers Guild of America accused Tyler's employer of engaging in unfair labor practices in response to his heinous conduct. This battle against Perry was significant for all black writers. As one of the writers said, while I'd like to see something positive come out of this for us, if this fight helps future black writers get what they deserve, that's a good thing. If you think Perry's behavior has improved or that he has apologized, you should know that at the time, the only change Perry did was to stop using scriptwriters and start writing all of the screenplays himself. Ugly situation, so I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna write because I know that my audience knows my voice. Perry's altercation with the writers wasn't the only factor, though, that led Monique to think that Tyler was working for the top of the profession. Another issue shook the Tyler Perry Studios pristine reputation in 2015 when two actor unions forbade their members from appearing in Perry's stage production of Made Yawn on the Run. Many actors and commentators found it to be an eye-opening experience. Additionally, a journalist and cultural critic of African-American descent noted in an open letter to Tyler, Mr. Perry, you have told the Hollywood old guard to kiss your backside, and I appreciate that, brother. But many black folks have expressed some of the very same attitudes about your work that white critics have. It appears like Tyler Perry is losing his hold, and his employees are prepared to strike back and quit abiding by his bizarre regulations and further benefiting him. Since only a small portion of these controversies have been public knowledge, and we haven't yet encountered the real Tyler Perry, as Monique now warns, it may take a great deal of time and bravery to reveal his terrible nature. Watching, who are you? To when everyone's watching. And we got a chance to see him when no one was watching. Well, let's hope that people will muster the strength to band together against this man and perhaps knock him off the pedestal he had placed himself on. Because despite his attempts to come across as a kind-hearted person and a savior of the black community, many of his admirers realize that this is just a trap for many innocent people and a front for his heinous crimes. As one user wrote Perry showed himself as a lair thief and a coward, and his writers knew it. And another user added, Monique, I hope you get your justice and they get exposed. Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey need to be out off commission. God bless you, Monique. Well, it may take more than just one person to expose all evil deeds in Hollywood. So let's hope to hear more juice on Tyler Perry in the future. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe our channel for more celeb videos. Don't forget to like and comment. Also share it with friends and family.